biggest thing we do, all 1,300 of you that walk in the door every day, has a safe place to go. Hey, hey Blue, Blue Jays. Jays! Welcome back to the Friday Show. We are looking for families to host a student from France. The dates are March 27th to April 13th. This is a great opportunity to learn about another culture. See Madam Riley in room 1504 for more information. Time is running out to purchase your 23-24 yearbook. You can bring cash or check to Ms. Robertson's room 1310 or pick up a flyer from her to purchase online. Books are $60. Students, please drive responsibly and obey speed limits to and from FRCC. Student Council will be hosting a co-ed volleyball tournament, Dig for a Difference, on March 15th starting at 6 p.m. in the Big Gym. You can come and watch the tournament for $5. Tickets can be purchased at entrance and all proceeds will benefit Children's Relay for Life. I think a lot of the inspiration for my style is definitely Pinterest. I spend way too much time on Pinterest. I go thrifting a lot, so a lot of what, like a lot of the inspiration for my style is just buying stuff and then trying to make outfits out of it. I've always loved Emma Chamberlain. I'm a big Emma Chamberlain fan, and I don't really look up to anyone, like I don't copy anyone's style, but I think if anyone had the most influence on my style, it would be her. I've always really liked fashion. I've always dressed myself, even when I was like a little kid. And I've had some, I've had some crazy outfits, but I have always really liked fashion ever since I was little. I feel like I get a lot of compliments about my outfits. I feel like I get my outfits get noticed a lot. Not as much when I'm at school, but definitely when I'm out or when I'm like in the city. I feel like I get compliments on my outfits a lot. Hello, my name is Cuisinart. I'm a great tabby boy. I like other cats and love attention. Hi, my name is Australia. I'm a very pretty light brindle with a white chest. I'm around 50 pounds and about two years old. If you're interested in seeing me, come to the Franklin County Humane Society or call 636-583-4300. We've really been up and down a lot during the season. You know, we've got six wins in the season. Uh, we played a very tough schedule. Uh, but we've got some young guys that haven't played a lot of RST, some sophomores that are really getting used to the swing of things. And we want to be playing our best basketball at the end of the year, which we have been as of lately. You know, every year you're always wanting to win a conference title or win a district championship. And then as the season progresses, you always just take one game at a time. Getting kids to gel is always uh, um, what a coach strives for, of how, of how quickly you can get a team to, to work together and then uh, how hard you can get a team to work together. There's many different leadership roles where it be defensively or offensively or being a vocal leader. So we've had some very good spurts of young guys trying to be leaders on the court. So you're going to have ups and downs but if you can battle through those failures and those down times and have kids that want to keep working and want to keep being successful that um, leadership can be many different ways as you see on the, on the field or on the court. Thank you for watching our show. For more news and views, check out www.bluejayjournal.com. Have, Have a, a great weekend, Blue Jays! Jays.